Good afternoon everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock, and it's two for Tuesday. And the old mate Tom over at Knife Delights, this is his uh, open tag. And I'm thoroughly enjoying it and I've seen so many different knives, it's fantastic. And that's what we want to do is show knives. So today I picked two oldies, but I'm asking for help. Look, I picked my old get coin that <laughs> Dan from Bladebridge got made for me. I, I love that because it really is me. I am... Not very good at finding out stuff. I have a Levine's guide and I went on the internet there and I probably spent an hour trying to find out what the sort of ages of these knives are. I'm going to start with this first one. This is a case. Now, let me tell you, this case has been well used and loved. Look, it's almost smooth. The bone is almost smooth. It is gorgeous. And this is the case canoe. And it is, let me just, there you go, 62131 pattern. But I can't get this tang stamp. I'm just going to close this over. Listen to the snap that's still in this knife. Case made. Look at that knife. I don't know what age this is because it's been used, which really does, can make you think it's older than what it is. And I don't want to jump to conclusions, right? There's the tang stamp. It says case double X uh, in just full capitals. And then it's got Bradford PA, the USA, but I don't know what this is either side of it. And my old eyes, I have had all my magnifying glasses out. I, I can't make it out. It's a bit blurred. I looked at the tang stamps on the, and I just can't find out what age it is. So there you go. It, it looks like it's 19 something, but I, I just can't read it. And I cannot read it on the tang stamps. They're a bit blurry when you get them up on the internet. So if anybody can help me, what is the age of this knife? Now, as a canoe, you know, I like canoes, but, oh, sorry. I like canoes, but they're not, I like the look of them, but I don't carry them that much. But like with all knives, when I get them, I put a little edge on this. You know, this is, this will cut as an edge. All my older knives that I get, I sort of half clean up. That's about as clean as it gets. I need to do this side again. Um, because of the muck and all that's been in them for years, I, I don't go too heavy on hand in it. They're not bad. I just love collecting them. I take these out and I could sit and stroke that. You can see that it's got the faint case on there and it looks like just case normal capitals uh, in, a, in a circle around it. So if anybody knows, but look at this. If this knife doesn't tell you a story, I, again, I don't know. The age is really not that important. It's the fact that this knife was loved. And to love a knife, you have to use it. Look how far that's gone up. But look how well the person looked after it. It has gone straight up. He really has taken care to sharpen it properly. And I find that. So this was somebody who was obviously, who loved this knife, used this knife. This one hasn't been taken up too much at all. The pen blade is good. I put a nice edge on it. I just love it. I'm not even sure what the the whether this is the the pre stainless steel area or just into the to me it looks like something from the I don't know you know it could be forties fifties sixties even I I don't know so if you can help I'd be really appreciative because I love collecting this type of knife this older and I will get better at it I'm just not the best at it <laughs> at the minute time I just don't have time for all these knives but the bone and the color of it when it goes like this is just delicious honestly it's so smooth you can barely feel the dimple I can feel the middle pin more than I can feel the dimples um beautiful beautiful knife no matter what age it is, this has been well used. But look, listen to that. That is just beautiful. Beautifully tucked away into the canoe bolsters here. An absolutely super piece. And in my collection, it's usable. I, I'll stick it in my pocket around the house some days. And you've got to think, who had this knife? Who had it? What did he do? And I, I romanticise about things like that. I don't know whether anybody else is in that same category of madness. So that's the case. Another one I got, and I, I got this for this bone. Look at that bone. Isn't that, the jigging on this bone is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And this is a serpentine stockman. Um, 
I just think, and there's no, how nice does a knife look when it doesn't have a shield on? Now, there's some shields I do like, granted, but how just workmanlike does that knife look without a shield? So I'm going to show you this one because I can find nothing about it. This is Pal Cutlery Co. made in the USA. That's it. I can't, there's no other markings on it. No other markings at all. But again, this knife has been so well used, but again, sharpened properly. These were people, whoever had both these knives could sharpen knives. Um, and they didn't come from the same seller, so it wasn't the, uh, the same person, if you like. But they could obviously sharpen a knife. And look at this match strike nail pull. It really is lovely. You have a swedge on top and little small swedges in the end. So... These would have been fairly expensive, I thought. These don't look like cheaply put together knives. I'll bring that up for you. There you go. There's what you can see again. Pal, now, I know Pal Cutlery, I think they, they started doing knives in 1940. and It was more um, kitchen knives. And then in 1947, they took over one of the bigger companies. Uh, was it Remington they took over theirs? Not sure, but it was one of the other bigger companies. I've just read that and I've forgotten it already. That's what my head's like. Don't drink, folks. <laughs> but just another beautiful example of a little knife. But what really appeared to me is these were sharpened. But they were sharpened beautifully. Somebody cared for this knife and used it well beyond what most of us don't use our knives. Do you know what I mean? Th th this person could have even passed away and this been his favourite knife. Because he has kept it beautifully. Kept it beautifully. And I, I would say, going back to, you know, the the middle of last century, these were expensive things to have. So people, you know, a lot of people did look after them before there was into this fashion of, you know, taking care of your blades. This is a working tool. And there's no doubt about it, it was a working tool. Look at that bat spring. I mean, this is carbon, I'm convinced of it. Um, so, two beautiful knives, a stockman in the canoe, Two patterns that when I came around, I wasn't particularly keen on. The Stockman pattern I'm now really keen on, but I'm really getting into the canoe. Sorry, I've got a canoe this year. Let me just show you this one. I've had the Rough Rider canoes and things like that. I think I still have some. Oh, I've just knocked my old Git coin over. Did I ever show you that coin up close? There you go. Old Git. <laughs> Dan has a good sense of humour, that fella, but he's very, it's very true. It's my old get coin and Paddy and Pals. I bought this one last year and this is, look at that. Isn't that stunning? And that's the sort of shield that I could sit and look at all day. A beautiful piece of bone on it. Lovely, lovely knife. Um, this came to me in such great condition. I don't think this would be particularly old. There we go. I never even looked at this one, obviously. There we go, that funny looking case. But I don't think that one's too old, but it is in beautiful condition. Uh, absolutely perfect. There's next to nothing to... I mean, I think it's even near the factory edge. It's quite rough factory edge. But a stunning knife, and one that I'm so happy to have in my collection. But it's two for Tuesday, and that's the two that I want help with. Please, somebody out there... Down below, if you do take the time, I'll be so appreciative because at least then, when I bring them out again, I'm going to have some sort of common sense answer to give people. <laughs> take care. Have a nice day. All the best. Paddy.